and Sylvia Gordon. This is my sister, Rebecca Gordon. We're going to talk about date snip lookalike plans. They're going bye-bye. They're going to sunset at the end of 2023, which actually shouldn't come as a big surprise. They were saying that a couple of years ago, that they were going to phase them out, but now it's out there. It's set, and they're leading. One thing I... I think is interesting is there's not DSNPs available everywhere. They said about 70% of the country has access to a DSNP. I didn't realize 30% don't. Which is where they got the DSNP look right. like. And you know, they look, taste, feel like a DSNP, but they don't fall under the same regulation as a DSNP. So personally, I'm glad they're going away because they were very confusing, I thought. And I always thought in the back of my mind, yeah. They're not hitting the same parameters as the DSNP. There's right. got to be some deficiencies there. Right. So the carriers will have to map over their clients. They're hoping for it to be smooth and seamless. I actually tried to find out who in the market has a lookalike this year. I didn't try that hard right. to it's look. But hard it's to, right. It's hard to get. So if you're in that area that has them, um, You know if you have one. Yeah. Sayonara. I want to talk about stay-at-home moms. Because in our, gen- bless them. in our generation, I was a stay-at-home mom for five years. The first two years were the hardest thing I've ever done in my entire life. <laughs> when I had <laughs> two in diapers, plus I watched my niece. When I had three in diapers, oh. I, there's nothing I could ever do. No job is, was, could ever be as hard as that. a good time. So stay-at-home moms. Let's go to the whiteboard. This, this bites older stay-at-home moms. Right. Especially if they never married. So I get this every day. We've lived together for 22 years. We've lived together for 34 years. Think of our aunt and uncle. They've been together 37 years, never married. So they're like, what do I do? I'm I'm approaching Medicare. What are her options? Number one, get married. Yes. Get married. How long do you have to be married before your Medicare and social security benefits would kick in? One year. But why does everybody say it's 10 years? Because that is if you get divorced. And everybody's confused. Everyone's like, well, so write that down. They're, they're all like, well, 10 years, like, why well, could be dead? No, it's one year. One year. Get married one year. And like when Erin passed away, my dear friend and our, our longtime employee, she passed away in June. She'd been married to her new husband for nine, nine months. months and two weeks. To get social security benefits off your new spouse, you only have to be married nine months. So, Wow. It's only, people think it's 10 years. Right. It's one year for for benefits. Medicare Survivor benefits. Survivor benefits are nine months unless you have a minor child together. There's exceptions if you're injured in the line of military duty and stuff, some stuff like that. But generally, one year, okay? So a lot of these couples that have lived together all these years, and the woman's like, I don't get Medicare. And I'm not going to get Social Security. Right. Now, there are some common law states what would be the one that you think, what comes to mind? A common law state, I would think California. Everybody thinks California. Or New York. Not California, not New York. It is Texas, Colorado, <laughs> Kansas, Kansas, Montana, which kind of like geographically kind of like goes up like that, yeah? Montana makes sense. And then Vermont, and I think there's a couple of little ones out there too. Huh. Um, yeah, so if, you're, if you've lived together for 20, 30, only has to be a little bit, right. right? But you've lived together as husband and wife. You can file documents with Social Security. It's Social Security Form 753 and 754. Yeah, that's how big of a nerd I am. That's nice. To prove that you lived as husband and wife. And now it's not a slam dunk just because you've lived together for 10 years or 20 years. <coughs> you have to prove that you lived as husband and wife, such as you had children together. You bought property together. You had joint bank accounts. So there's stuff. And they will have witnesses come to testify. Yeah, they live together. So you're all hippies and you all got, you all got clients like that. If I got a lot of clients like that, you do too. Our oldest sister is a hippie. You need to know how to advise them and not just say, hey, you're out of luck. What if they don't live in a common law state? Which is the majority of them. Then they need to get married. Get married. And I love telling people, get married. Get married. And they're like, yeah, but I can't wait 10 years for benefits. Thank God you only have to wait one year. It's only one year. Get married today. In one year, you'll be eligible for Medicare and Social Security off your new spouse. So what if the stay-at-home mom is... Stay-at-home mom, 65. 65. And what if her smoking hot younger husband 
is 60. Let's just say for fun, he looks like Ricky Martin. Oh. Okay. Because we love Ricky Martin. Okay. So he's 60. She's 65. She wants to apply for Medicare. She has no work credits or she has some, but not enough. She cannot apply for Medicare because he's not at least 62. He has to be at least 62, which means he has to be in the system. 62. He has to be 62. So she's going to have to wait. What does she do for health insurance? Why she's waiting for him to get two years older. She can get Obamacare because she's not eligible for Medicare. So, but the key here is three years, right? The key here is he has to, he has to be 62. He has to be 62. I don't 60. care how old she is. Okay. She can't do anything with his benefits. Until he's 62. Until he's 62. Well, let me ask you this before that. So let's say he's worked a lot. Okay. More than the 40 tax quarters. Yeah, let's say he's... he's. And maybe she had a part-time job. Maybe she worked. She's nine. Could she borrow any credits from him? So the way Social Security says is you got to have 40 credits and you can get four credits a year. So being me with like my very limited math skills, I still just say you got to work 10 years. Okay. But, you know, when you're trying to read this stuff to check it out on the Social Security website, it's credits. They don't have to be consecutive and you got to have at least 10 years or at least 40 credits. So she, you said she only worked for nine years. So she's four credits short. She can't borrow them. She can't, she can't. Okay. he can't give her any and she can't borrow any. She's just stuck. She can go back to work for a year. Yeah. And so if she wants to work for a year, it's only like, it's like, she's got to make like $1,600 a quarter to earn a credit. So it's not like she has to make a ton of money. She could be part-time. Yeah. And she could, she can do it. But this is how you're trying to help your clients, right. especially during AEP when you're in face to face with a lot of your clients and they're like, Hey, I'm turning 65. This is what I got. Yeah. Can you help me with this? So Social Security, she's eligible to draw as early as 62. Spousal benefits can begin at 62. But only if your spouse 62. is at least 62. And then this is a real kicker. With Social Security, if you're married, I put that heart there for a happily married couple. If you're married, you can only draw off your spouse if your spouse is drawing Social Security. So this is another I gotcha. If she wants to draw at 62, because she raised six kids, she's tired, she's done. So I, our mom raised six kids, and I remember she said, kitchen's she, closed. She was done a long time she's ago. She's like, I will never cook again. She was never a great cook to begin with. <laughs> yeah. But she said, I'm done. I will never, ever cook. I'm done. Okay, so she's 62. She wants her Social Security, but she doesn't have enough to draw. She can't draw on him until he draws. What if he says he doesn't want to draw until 70? He wants to max his out at the maximum amount, which would be 124% mm. of his. She can't do anything until he draws. Now, if they're divorced, so if you get rid of your happy married heart there, if they're divorced, she's 62. He's at least 62. He doesn't have to draw. That way your ex-spouse could not just 62. Your ex-spouse can't bar you from getting Social Security. And a lot of women are so confused. They're like, well, I can't draw on him. He's not drawing. If you're divorced, so then get divorced. Now, if you if you get divorced because of this, you have a two-year wait. Oh. But anyway, this is the kind of basic Social Security and Medicare stuff that while it is complex, is still a basic enough level that all agents holding themselves out as experts in Medicare should have a mastery of. We do a lot of classes yeah. on Social Security. If you if this was all new to you, attend one of our virtual CE classes that we'll have starting the first quarter yep. as soon as AEP is over because this stuff is very valuable to your clients. And if you don't tell them, nobody else is going to. Be a hero. Yeah, be a hero to your clients. Happy AEP. Good telling, folks. See you next week.